Welcome back, my hatchlings, to Pokemon Fire Red Random Lock. Here is our team. And today we're going to go over our team. Well, we're going to do that now, but that's not all we're going to do, but... We got Glenn. Well, I just want to check out their stats. I don't remember what their stats were, but... Uh, definitely a more special attacker and pretty good defense. It's good. We got... Judith with really good attack and really good special attack. That's really good. Plus really good speed. She's really good as long as she doesn't get hit. But still, really good. Unfortunately, we can't get a Honkrow in this game, but we'll make do with a Murkrow for sure. Then we have Lee, who all around has pretty balanced stats, but his highest is definitely his defense because he's a turtle, but attack-wise he'd probably have to go to special attack, but his physical attack isn't bad either, so pretty good. And we got Carl, who has beast of attack, 82, and then good special defense, and actually pretty much everything's good. Special attack's the lowest. Uh, Dragon Rage, I can't remember if Dragon is physical or special in this game, but either way, Dragon Rage only does 40 HP. Physical Bite is special, or, or Dark type moves are special in this game. This is why Bite is really good with Lee being a War Turtle and having high special attack. It's actually Bite's really good. And then Water is special, I believe. So, pretty good. I was not done looking at my Pokemon yet. Then we got Oscar, who... Stats are really low. They'll really improve when he evolves. So, but mainly what we gotta know is he has a good attack. And I guess his defense is a little okay-ish. I think that's only because of his nature. But everything else is kind of boo. And then Maggie, who... Okay, Maggie's a special attacker. Last episode I was talking about how if she had a high attack, I was going to be upset about me teaching Rock Slide to Oscar. But because she has special attack, that's good. Because Rock... I'm pretty positive Rock Slide is physical. And then... Let's see. So Ember and Smog are probably good for Rock Throw, probably isn't. And good special defense. And good defense too, I don't know how I missed the defense right there. And so that's our team. So today, we're going to talk to this guy. He had no interesting information for us. I don't think they matter either, but we're going to the Pokemon Tower right here to catch a Pokemon. That's one thing. Can we find a Pokemon in the lobby? I don't think we can. I think we have to... Actually, I don't think we can catch a Pokemon at all. Yet. Yet. But we have our rival, Nelson, right there, but I want to see if we can catch something. I don't think we can, too. I think we have to go up one more floor and we can. But even then, I don't think we could even go up a floor. I think we need the Silphscope. Hello, Nelson. Hey, Hatch. What brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Heh, <laughs> it's alive. Yeah, my Pokemon is alive. You're the one with the dead Pokemon. Well, at least I can make them faint. Let's go! Oh, how rude. What a bubble. And here he is. Rival Nelson would like to battle. And he has five Pokemon, wow. And... Wow, I'm actually lucky I had Glenn up. I didn't even plan on this at all. I don't remember what Pokemon he has, I know he has Pidgeotto, and I don't even remember what his starter is, honestly. I think it was a Charmander. Good. One hit KO. Perfect. We are really over-leveled, though. We're, we're still climbing levels, levels too. Alright. And then... Ivysaur, that was the starter. Alright, we're gonna switch over to Maggie. Judith could probably a better choice, but I want Maggie to get some experience. Dead Ivysaur. Such a cool Pokemon. Ah, oh, really? Gotta be a butthole about it. Just like his trainer. Oh wow, that did not do as much as I was hoping it would. Who's 9 HP? Finish it. Ah, oh, come on. That shouldn't do too much. That did more than I thought it would, but still not too much. I like how 
How are we faster? Didn't he move first the first turn? I don't know. Maybe they're balancing his flip flopping. A get oh ho 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 you I kinda wanna face mine against his. I probably shouldn't, but this is gonna be epic. Carl meet Um What's Carl backwards? Little Rock. That's a terrible name, we're just gonna go stick with Gyarados. Yeah, ours gonna handle this while they intimidate each other. I could just do 40 base damage every time, so I might just do that. And if he does the same... Oh, okay. Oh, they didn't do as much. How come we don't have Thrash? Did we have Thrash and got rid of it? I don't know. Maybe he just has... How'd you get Thrash? Whatever, it's not that good of a move. Clearly it didn't do much to us. Uh, Growlithe, alright. We're gonna send Glenn back, just cause he's not level 30 yet. And actually, the name raiders here in Lavender Town, we could finally fix Glenn's name. Because I chose Mr. Chow before I decided to make this a Walking Dead themed name stuff. Growlithe should be out. Oh, wow. I didn't think he'd survive that, so I'm actually gonna applaud you. Yep, applauding. I try to make that not sound like fapping, because claps in the past have sounded like that. So hopefully that sounded like a clap if you could hear it. And then a Kadabra. I'm going to finish you off with Judith, because Psychic won't affect her. Which means Oscar's getting no no face time in this battle, but that means we fought 5 on 5, so it's okay. Actually, we didn't use Lee either, so we fought 4 on 5. Good job, Judith. I didn't think that'd be in one hit KO at all. What? You stinker! Did you just call me a stinker? I took it easy on you too! Oh yeah, you went easy on me. You I was actually kind of over leveled, so I could have gone easier on you. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Q bone. Cool, my Pokedex is going poorly. I just can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could he be? Have you tried evolving your Q bone? I bet there aren't any left. Yeah, I guess that's always a possibility. Well, I better go. I got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you. Smell you later. What an asshole. Seriously. Oh, come on. Um. Yeah, I should get you to the Pokemon Center, because there's no surviving with 1 HP in this game. I also need to keep an eye on your HP. I think we should be able to make it. If we die before we get to Nurse Joy, what are we left with? Okay, we're good. 23? Or is 28? Pretty sure it's 23. Alright, so from here, let's go. Let's go to the volunteer Pokemon house. I don't remember exactly what to do in this town or if we could even do it here. Oh, yeah, we gotta find Mr. Fuji. And I think we need to find him to get the Poke Flute. But I forgot where we get the Sylph Scope. Don't remember where we get that. You're the name reader. Yes! Yes! You know what I just realized? Look at the two under its typing. Who it belongs to. The original trainer. I don't know why I call it two. Hatched. H A T C H E D. Mm hmm. My name is Hat X Head. <laughs> I'm calling myself Hatch still. But Stupid C got changed of an X for whatever reason. Don't know why. Because of that, we can't change the name. But. The sidebar holds the truth, so we're still sticking in Glen. Route 12? Is it Route 12 past this still, or...? Yeah. 
So, don't want to fight you. We could probably fish and catch something. But we only have the old rod, that's going to get us like a level 5 Pokemon. I don't want a level 5 Pokemon. So, we're going to wait until we get Surf, till we catch something there. And did I go in here? I did not. I did not go in here. Who are you? Oh, the sad story. Did you lose your mama? Seems kind of happy about it. Probably wasn't even his mom. They just thought it was, maybe. I don't know. Route 8. I want to skip these trainers. We do not not. We do not need... Ah, oh, come on. What's cute, random, fluffy Pokemon? Jigglypuff is. Doesn't she say something else, though? Something. I think she says Clefairy, maybe? I don't know. Let's spark it. Look at you. I will follow you. Minimize and then follow me. That sounds kind of like a lame combination. Oh, don't slap my fish. That was a critical hit. That was weak. There we go. Julius, stop. Don't be mean to Michael Ferry. I don't know that of also exposed to immune stone. Cool. Yeah, here's where we could use cut, but I don't think it's required to get in there. Do we seriously need cut? Oh, come on. I thought you were going to keep going. Get away or I'll run you down. That is very threatening words, Mr. Mohawk. Alright, water gun. Oh, come on. She probably should have used Spark right there. Could have used Flail now, I guess. Oh, critical hit. Actually, another reason why we probably have high levels is because we get boosted experience because of our stupid name change. It makes me upset, but it's only for the original team. Think of it as our friendship has already bonded. And so, because they're the originals, they get more experience or something. Jaren? Is there any... Is there grass to the left over here? Don't think there is. Alright, so we need to go get cut. Hey, why did I run back here? Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. I just... There's no point in me fighting these trainers. If I ever need to grind something, I'll probably come back here. If it's low level. But there's no reason for me to fight these trainers if I'm already over leveled. And we still have a Team Rocket and Grass Gym Trainers. So we're going to be really over leveled for the next gym. So I'm just, I really don't want to fight any trainers. You're not a cat woman. Jeez, <laughs> cat woman. Uh, let's move you up front. I guess I could train Maggie and Judith. So they still need to level up, but whatever. Is that a double battle? Probably, no, I think you have to fight them one at a time. I know this was a remake of the originals, but you could have at least included double battles, like, as part of the generation. It would have been cool. You did it for Soul Silver and Heart Gold. I don't see why you couldn't do it for Fire Red, Leaf Green. So let's heal. And then let's switch out. Get our cut slave. Our cut slave happens to be a dead Pokemon, but whatever. Let's switch Oscar out. No, actually, Oscar might be good for weakening. Let's get Carl out. Uh, go visit your dead friends. <laughs> Our five losses. Michonne was my saddest death overall in all the Nuzlocks I've done. This is my second Nuzlocke, so Silver being my third, which I'm playing side by side with this one. Um, my worst step so far, though, has been episode 30 of Soul Silver. I don't. I'm not going to say it aloud because I don't know if I've uploaded that yet, so... If I haven't uploaded that yet, then watch out for episode 30. It's a sad episode. And we can catch a Skarmory! Yes! 100 times yes! Let's Nightshade you. Perfect. Alright, now... Well, that's actually not perfect. We could probably use, like, Astonish or something. Might get it down a little bit lower. 
but I don't know if I want to risk that, so I'm just going to use a Pokeball now. can't remember. I need to look at my rules again. I don't remember if I'm doing all Pokeballs. I don't remember. It's been forever since I even last played this, not counting the last episode. I just did that one before this one. Let's throw another Pokeball, and then maybe I'll try weakening its HP a little bit more. I think we're going to have to. Actually, Peck might be a better choice. Let me look at it. Let's see what's weaker. So that's 35. It's 30. But I think because that's a steel type, it might do less. It might not be very effective, so... I think I'll do that. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. That was right. And actually the Skarmory might be a possible replacement for God damn it. For Judith. Because I don't know, I I just think having a steel type would be very beneficial. Especially a steel flying type. And let's try to get one more pack in there. Perfect. This is perfect. Mute my phone. Alright, now let's throw some balls. Oh, come on. Ah, <sighs> Pokeball Go! It's a girl Skarmory, too. I need to think of a name for you. I have a name for you already. Oh, come on! Right when I thought of a name. The name I have for you actually fits in pretty well. Perfect. Yes. Gotcha. After nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. It's pretty hardcore. Give you a nickname? We're sticking with walking dead names? We're in season four of The Walking Dead on the show. We're going with Carol because Carol's actually a bigger character in season four. Um, she got placed in crypt. Whoops. Well, one of the reasons I chose Carol is because, well, it's a female, so kind of need a girl name. And then Carol being a big part recently in the show, they've only shown four episodes so far. Um, in November, recording this. Who knows when you guys might be seeing this? And she's been teaching kids how to use knives. You got a freaking Skarmory, its wings are pretty much like blades. And oh, you have a sharp beak? <laughs> what are the chances of that? Good defense. Good. Oh, I, I really want to replace Judith, actually. I, I'm really tempted to. Could be a really good team member for sure. I really, really want to use it. Uh, I've never used the Skarmory. I never used the Murkrow either. But um, maybe not today. But maybe in the future. Or maybe not at all. You know, because. Shoot of Scud, she's part dark type. That's gonna help with the psychic gym for sure. And any other psychic types we find along the way. I could replace one of my water types, but I'm actually really happy with my three water types, despite it giving us a huge weakness to electric types. That's our biggest weakness on our team. We have two Pokemon that can counter electric types. But we're done with the electric gym. We just gotta worry about Magnemites, I guess, so. I didn't heal, but whatever. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna skip the trainers. There, um, like I said, I'll probably come back if I. Gosh, dang it! You should be informed. You need strategy. Watch him have a Magnemite, just like I was talking about. Oh, grammar. Nightshade. Being a 
butthole. Quit being a butthole. Perfect. Muck. I actually want to bump up my firepower for Muck. Yeah, <laughs> firepower. Just threw out fire type. Okay, if you're gonna be a butt, do yawn. Put it to sleep. Oh no, my yawn's been disabled. I'm so hurt. Okay, I was gonna say, if you poison me, that would mean Maggie got poisoned twice in one episode. It would be very upsetting. I'm no longer disabled, but it doesn't really matter anymore. So we're gonna finish you off right here. That was a lot of experience from the muck. Good job, Maggie. Amnesia, what does Amnesia do? Boost up. Special defense. That could be a little helpful. I could get rid of smog. I don't think smog will be that good. No! Did I seriously? Oh! <laughs> oh! I got rid of my only fire type move on accident. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Glenn? This guy's name is Glenn? That's even ironic because of Maggie, Glenn, if you are... I feel bad for people who aren't fans of The Walking Dead and I'm doing this, but... There are a couple in the show, let's just leave it at that. I'm just, did I seriously do that? You need to learn a fire time move soon, Maggie, because... I disabled your advantage against the upcoming gym. Keep throwing rock. Okay, you suddenly. Oh, come on. Finish you off of your own type. Ah, <sighs> and his name is spelt the same way, too. It had two ends. That's. Ah, uh, I can't believe I did that. This goes to Saffron. This. Uh, I guess we'll fight you. I think we had to. Probably could have avoided him, but whatever. Electric types, was I just talking about those? I kinda wanna start leveling up her so she can learn a fire type move. I need i I'm gonna after this episode I'm gonna check up on her moves to see what her future will be like. Full torps. Song of Boom. Oh, hey. You know what would be perfect for this Magnemite? Ember. Uh, I can't believe I got rid of my only fire type move. Okay, don't get a critical hit, Supersonic, on me. I'll be. Come on. Switch out. It's. Maggie's the only one that's not level 30. Let's try our new Rock Slide. Out of coughing, I was not paying attention. I was sending a text message. It was a coughing. Don't poison me. I'll be very upset. Ah, you poisoned me, you bitch. Level up, level 30. Thank you, Pokemon gods. Ah. Ah. I'm really upset about the ember thing. Can't believe I did that. Let's... We have antidotes, I know we do. Alright. Two Celadon. Let's just get there. We might be able to fight a fire team, though, so... I don't know, I'll make that decision after I find out what she can learn. Let's use our bike. So when do we use our bike? <sighs> yeah, there's a Snorlax up ahead. I don't know if it'll be randomized in battle or not, but we're on Route 7. Can we catch something on Route 7? Or does it count as like a central route around these parts? Let me check my map. Uh... 
seven, row five, row eight, row six. So we've caught route six. We've have we done route eight? That's where we just came from, so yes, that's where we just were. Route 5, we have done Route 5, so we can catch something on this route, so let's, let's do it. Come on, I don't want to be drill. Uh, I guess we'll catch you. Because you never know, we might lose something, and then I'll be regretting that I didn't catch that bee drill. Gotta speed up these fury attacks. This means I need to think of a name for you, and I don't wanna, because I don't have any good names. Oh, come on. Now he's focusing on his energy. Actually, I could probably use Yawn from Maggie, that'd probably be helpful. Ah, oh, come on. <clears throat> I want to end the episode off before 30 minutes. This speed drill. Why are you so difficult? <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Hopefully it doesn't get any critical fury attacks on us. Hopefully after you fall asleep, it'll be easy to catch, using all our Pokeballs. There we go. Now let's see how much easier. You, we're gonna catch it on the first try right here. I bet you. Oh, what? What? If you wake up, I swear. Who knew the Beedrill would be the hardest thing for us to catch in this Let's Play? There we go. Think of a name. Try and think of a name that isn't that good. I don't even care about you. I don't like Beedrill. I'm gonna name you... Thinking... About... Alan. He's a character that I like in the comics, but not so much in the show. But he's also not that big of a character, so... I felt that was appropriate. But we are in Celadon City. We're just gonna walk into this Pokemon Center. And I'm just gonna call an episode right here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel.